Each week, American Artifacts visits museums and historic locations. Located next door to the White House of the Confederacy in Richmond, Virginia, the Museum of the Confederacy has been in operation since 1896. This building was constructed in the 1970s. American History TV visited the museum for a tour of the permanent exhibits. My name is Sam Craighead, and I'm Public Relations Specialist for the Museum of the Confederacy in Richmond, Virginia. In May of 1860, or 63, General Jackson and General Lee attacked the Union Army at Chancellorsville, Virginia. And during the latter part of the battle, the sun went down, General Jackson decided that he needed to find out where the Union Army was, where its flanks were, where it was located. So he took his staff on a ride out in front of the Army of Northern Virginia to find out exactly where that Union Army was. Jackson was a secretive man. He didn't tell people things that he thought they didn't need to know. And he didn't see any reason for the Army to find out that he was going out to find out where the enemy was. Well, in the dark, he and his staff are riding back. And they're riding back from the direction of the enemy. His soldiers have no idea that he's out there. So as soon as they heard this activity of horses coming toward them, they decided it was the enemy and they started firing. They hit Jackson three times. He was pulled off his horse uh, by his aide, James Power Smith. This is the coat that Smith wore when he pulled him off his horse because firing was still going on and he didn't want Jackson to get hit. And he tried to staunch the blood that Jackson um, uh, was um, bleeding um, all, all over. And this is the handkerchief that James Power Smith used for that. And there's also blood stains on his jacket. Because the firing was going on, he threw himself on top of Jackson so he wouldn't be get hit again. The book next to it is the field notebook of the uh, cartographer, uh, James Keith Boswell, who was with Jackson at the time. And this sketch shows the field and the little river up above it is the Rappahannock River. And he was locating the Union Army. And when the bullets started flying, he got hit and he was killed immediately. So you can see where the mini ball went in. The museum is under an umbrella organization called the Confederate Memorial Literary Society. It is a, pro a private, nonprofit organization, and we get our funding from membership and donations. You can watch American Artifacts every Sunday at 8 a.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. Eastern Time on C-SPAN 3's American History TV. For schedule information and to view programs, visit cspan.org slash history.